Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name, this is another of our exciting post-show talks as part of the second international online theater festival. My name is Kasia Lech, and I'm an executive dire director of the theatertimes.com and a senior lecturer at Canterbury Christchurch University. I will co-lead today's panel together with Dr. Aneta Mancevic from Royal Holloway University of London. Our guests today are from Poland, from the acclaimed TR Warszawa. It's artistic director Grzegorz Jarzyna, hello. who's 2000, hello, yes, hello, who's 2007 Macbeth, and no matter how hard we try, you can watch as part of the festival. He is joined by his collaborators, designer Anna Axer Fiałkowska, hello, um, composer Piotr Kurek, Assistant Director Katarzyna Gawryś and actors Agnieszka Podsiadlik Hello. and Tomasz Tyndyk. Hi. Tomasz and Agnieszka, you were both part of 2007 Macbeth, uh, but the focus of our today's conversation is the theater's work during the pandemic, and in particular the rehearsals for Shakespeare Burza, The Tempest, adapted and directed by Grzegorz, in which you all take parts. Um, Agnieszka Podsiadlik, I know you will be playing Prospero, so we're very excited to have you all with us. And I will now pass um, the voice or the lead to Aneta, who will ask first question. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Um, so we were wondering how you're managing as an institution in the current crisis. Um, what are the key challenges that you've seen and do you see any opportunities for working in this situation? Mm. I, I think that we don't have the choice. Uh, uh, we can't, it's, of course, it's very difficult to, to work uh, on the theater without the um, straight uh, personal contact, uh, but we don't have the choice. And uh, as a theater people, we are not going to um, stay calm and watching the situation like, uh, uh, like uh, uh, some other theaters, let's say in Poland, but uh, 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 we 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 trying to or we doing uh, as 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 we can to make our process uh, and the process is in different levels and different aspects. Like first is the for first uh, most important for us is the contact with the audience. So uh, so we broadcast uh, our shows. Uh, uh, which we have in rap and uh, we're doing a lot of live meeting uh, with the artist and with other people which are working uh, uh, on the performance and on the theater and uh, and we release as well the special events uh, which are uh, uh, were, um, producing during the pandemic time and other our activities is as well inside the theater so I'm uh, spending more than like uh, six hours a day at least uh, on Zoom and it's not only contact with the artists and uh, but as well on the organization of the theater and building the new strategy for TR Warszawa which is online strategy uh, which always will stay with us as uh, some um, another aspect of our uh, um, uh, uh, um, let's say our broadcast or our yeah, contact with the audience. And at the same time as well, we're doing the rehearsals. We now we have almost three production in the rehearsal and uh, we doing the rehearsal online uh, uh, by Zoom. So that's, uh, of course we have uh, more bad sides, but as well a good side. So um, that's how is our situation now. How does it affect your sense of community in a theater? The sense of being an ensemble, collaboration? Mm, I don't know if somebody would like to say. Yes, I, I, I must say like, like from my private uh, observation that uh, this is very nice for me that I've got the people around me that I can work with them and also we can be friends. Because, you know, in the theater, it's always like the border. It's more open between people because we are playing together at the stage, you know, with some strange emotions and characters. So we know each other, I think, well. And it's really nice in the strange times that I can see my friends, you know, in this small 
squares sometimes because uh, I'm sitting alone, so it's for me like, uh, you know, a bit nice moments that I can see people that I care and they care for me also. So I think we are fine as an ensemble and we are in touch still, yeah, because of the rehearsals. So it's, it's great. Do you use any special strategies to keep that sense of ensemble going? You know, in fact, uh, 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 we're having more Zoom meetings. So, for instance, with this uh, artistic team, uh, normally we meet like once uh, two months to really discuss the most uh, problematic subject. Now we discuss, uh, we're meeting each week uh, on, on the level of the whole artistic team. And as well, as well we have the many contacts uh, concerning the projects. Mm -hmm. Anybody else would like to add? Agnieszka? Yes, the, the question was, was about how we, how we deal with the situation as an ensemble. In context of community and ensemble, or Poczucie Zespołowości. Yes, mm, I think the, the clue word for me, the theater is, is impossible. I mean, real contact with people. And uh, this experience being like, um, only on the screens, it's special to me because I, I had that impression that everything is unreal, even me. It's, to me, it's the, the, the most strange uh, thing is to see myself on the, on the screen, like, um, like in a strange mirror, like unreal person, like strange per person. And the same with, with other people. Of, of course, it's great to, to meet on the, on the, through the Zoom. But uh, um, during this, this, uh, this time, everything, um, I, I, I have an impression that everything about me is in my head. So uh, like the uh, rest of my body uh, has been uh, totally am amputated. So I use only my face, my head, and um, and sometimes it's it's strange. I, I I have to tell you that I I during this time um, I had I became to to have a very very intense um, and uh, sharp and clear dreams. <laughs> I don't know why. I I think because of the need of people and reality. Because I I feel of course it's it's fantastic to to see. Um, friends but it's like a Truman show effect mm. you you don't you cannot believe that it's true even you and uh, and in Poland we have um, um, two very difficult for me very difficult uh, weeks uh, when the parks and the and the forests were closed and I felt really um, like a close in the um, in jail this is one thing like you you don't know how serious the judgment is, but also like in the jar, like twisted in the jar, uh, and um, and after the this two um, hard for me weeks uh, physically and for my head <laughs> too, uh, I I took my bike and I went uh, uh, fifteen kilometers uh, to the to the forest and. Uh, and I realize how how uh, how how um, big my need of nature and other people is, and I felt really like in a huge, uh, amazing oxygen tent, and uh, I I couldn't stop to yawn yawn yes, <laughs> but uh, and and I felt re reality like like generals the the the. Um, uh, the trees, the, the nature is so it's a, it's a very simple thing, but but you know it's such a situation it it's so high, <laughs> and it's, it's you realize uh, how how important it is. So I, I um yeah the need of people and need of nature and this, and the strange impression of being uh, um, in unreal uh, mm. world. Mm. Yeah. That's my... And of course, fear. Fear, because theater is based on really personal contact, like between actors, between actors and audience. 
So this fear that we are the last on the list to be, you know, accepted again, open again. So, yeah, it's a bit scary situation. Yeah, it's a kind of ritual situation. So you need people to to fulfill it, to to to, to be, to to make it. So it's impossible to, uh, without people in real, really. So how do you rehearse? Like how does you know? Because it's, it's Buddha, the tempest. The personal contact is so important. Agnieszka, you said that you feel that you're only the head, you know, and shoulders. Oh, yes. How do you? How do you? How does that affect your work? You know, as actors, when you rehearse scene, and how does that affect actor director relationship? I think yes. that we are. Mm -hmm. Can I? Yeah. 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 I think that we are still in the situation that we really don't know what will happen. You know, like we really don't know how the how theater will looks like really, mm. and when it will be like normal situation like it was before, or mm. maybe it will be different for forever. You don't know it, so I think that this is the first phase that we are meeting on the Zoom, and uh, we are talking about the characters, about the things that we want to want to have in our performance, but. Uh, you know, maybe it will be times that we should uh, look for a new, some, some new form, mm. you know, how to play in different way to the Zoom, but maybe we can find there some, some interesting uh, things which are not possible in a live mm. performing, like we, we did mm. already before the quarantine. So, I don't know, I don't know. It's... You know, like, like learning, it's learning. Yes, and trying to do all our best to use the situation to the, for the characters, for the work. Mm -hmm. So, but, but of course I, I had an impression that uh, it comes um, a moment when you feel like facing the wall, that the next step is impossible, that you, like I said, you, you would like to come and hug and touch and be so close and it's impossible but yes maybe what what Tomek said um, there is there will be no um, another um, uh, possibility to 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 do it mm -hmm. but I, I I still keep hope <laughs> for, uh, for so what do you do real. at the moment if you're running a scene how do you get that interaction between the actors what's your strategies at the moment oh. Yeah, our last rehearsal when we were reading our new text, like a whole piece, mm. there was a discussion between us that we heard a little bit impression that it's more to the, uh, I don't know how to say in English, that, you know, like you have a performance in radio. Yeah, Ah, so audio audio play. Like, uh, a podcast, pod play. Yeah, something, audio podcast play. or something like that. Yeah, so it's very strange, you know, because... Uh, we are, if we are saying to the microphone, to the camera, you know, like automatically actors are like in the situation they are recording in the radio or something or whatever. So, so the sound also from the Zoom, it's like taking you to this radio mm -hmm. situation. So I think it's difficult to find a, a, how, to, how to use it, really. Mm. Because it, I think it's possible to you to, to to build a performance uh, through the cameras, you know. But how to do it, to be, to have a new form, to have a new style, not to be in this, you know, very old uh, situations, like the uh, actors are talking, you know, only voices. So it's, it, it's difficult. It's difficult to find the, 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 the way to express, you know, because... Yeah, it's connected with thinking about it. Because, because um, it's you, in you your have head, to you know, really. Yeah, I think it's in your head, so it's like crazy. Like I'm playing only with myself in my home, and somebody is talking to me from the radio, and I've got the whole situation like in my imagination. So it's a very strange situation, but it's also funny, and it's also and sometimes it gives me freedom to try things which I could be afraid of uh, trying in a real situation, you know? Like, I feel that I'm, 
I'm in, in my place, you know, nobody can hurt me, so I can go like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and of course it's, it's something like, uh, uh, you, you don't know, we don't know yet how, how big the influence of the situation is, well, um, mm-hmm. how it works, how, what it will be, how, how, how it will be the, 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 the effect mm-hmm. of, of uh, the situation. But of course, great is to um, talk and talk and talk and to have, um, to have uh, new ideas, new inspirations. It's it's great too. This is endless process. <laughs> and and the situation is quite similar to the tempest. I mean that finally we as an actors we can feel like we are in our own uh, island, you know, without any contact so it's sometimes something it's connected there i think and this is something we very much want to come back to but before we do uh, anya and piotr can i ask how do you respond to that through music and through costume designs in that situations when you don't see actors full bodies when you know as as, as tomek said the rehearsal is like a podcast mm. well I would say, uh, hi, sorry, uh, at the beginning my internet, something went wrong, so I went blank. But uh, I would say this is a very great experience for me uh, individually. I would say that we're all, as artists and actors and everyone, we're very uh, ego (laughs) in a way. And the situation uh, teaches us empathy and... um, and gives us a, a different uh, vision of what uh, we do and what uh, we usually confront. And as Agnieszka and uh, uh, Tomek said, we lack uh, each other, but also uh, I think we gain from this experience that we can actually really be in our heads and develop what is happening. And uh, actually, give, for me as an artist, it gives me more freedom because usually I'm always at rehearsals. Uh, usually I uh, sit a lot and listen to what the actors are saying at the beginning and pre- uh, preparing since I'm responsible for the costume. So I really always wanted to feel what is happening and be strongly with it. But uh, I see now that maybe this is not always the right path. Uh, mm-hmm. And now I'm really enjoying the fact that I don't have to confront so many emotions Mm -hmm. that uh, I can be away from it, that um, I do have contact. I had a great meeting with all the actors uh, about two weeks ago. I think one of the best meetings I've ever had with the actors. And um, it was very, for me, it felt, It had a lot of freedom in it and uh, space and uh, empathy and we listened to each other and we weren't like, we weren't forcing something, but uh, because we feel that uh, we have the time, first of all, we have the space and um, I don't know, I think uh, we're maybe we're more even artistically free. and um, and um, I enjoy looking uh, at people actually in these uh, windows because uh, usually you look, you confront one person and you look at one person and you talk and you don't see the reaction and through the Zoom stuff you can just really like see everyone mm-hmm. and uh, it's a it's a different story and. Um, I don't know, visually, artistically wise, I would say I like this time. I also like this time for me personally. I'm, I feel I'm taking it quite well and uh, something good is happening for me as a person and as a woman. And mm-hmm. so uh, I would say, um, I would say, uh, let's take it on and let's see what happens. Let's see what the, how it develops. But uh, I think we have a great title for it. So the Tempest is just, you know, mm-hmm. the ideal thing to be working on. And I see Agnieszka now sitting like Prospero and I feel, you know, 
we're we're all in it. Like when you're doing a, a piece, you're always in it in a way. You never get away from it. So uh, I think this is really building it on, and uh, I hope uh, I hope something really great happens out of it, whatever way it goes. <laughs> we never know yet, but it will come. Piotr, do you want to tell us about the composing of music? Mm, yeah, I mean, like, it's it's different, that's for sure. Um, I feel like this part when, like, I, I imagine the performance is much longer now. So it means that I can, like, I, I, I feel this freedom and I can try a lot of stuff. Uh, and this is maybe a bad side of it, because I think, like, I mean, I'm developing many ideas, but there is no really way to check it. I mean, we can do it. We are sending all, all the music and everything what we are preparing to ourselves. But then I think like if you are not physically on the rehearsal, it's kind of difficult to, to figure out if it's going to work or not. But um, I think like it, it will definitely affect the, the, the performance from the music side. I mean, it will be more eclectic because mm -hmm. of that. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting. I think it's really interesting. And uh, also also but also it takes longer <laughs> i think like i mean on the on i, I feel I, I definitely have more time for this because like all my concerts are cancelled the the first one i have is 27th of november november so i should have more time but for some reason it takes longer everything i don't know why mm. but I yeah. experience i don't know time, time is running away some, somewhere yeah. nowhere really that's true, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in when it's going to go. I mean, and how it will be the shape. Uh, it's definitely different than what I imagine and what I planned from the beginning. And I, I kind of uh, looking forward to see it. And this is actually something we did want to ask about in terms of how your performance has been changing. You were talking, many of you, about um, the new form. Tomek, you mentioned this is an opportunity to create a new form. Agnieszka, you talked about um, uh, the sense of unreal. Mm -hmm. And Piotr, you just mentioned the idea of, of this being very different. Mm -hmm. And then Anna, you talked about how um, perhaps, you know, you think about costumes in a different way and how it's changing our um, perception of, of ourselves. So we wanted to know, um, how does it change your interpretation of The Tempest and what's changing in terms of the dramaturgy of it? So in, in the way, what is the, the mark of this pandemic on this play as you're working on it? I can say that uh, it, it changed, yes. Uh, I agree with this, uh, uh, with the colleagues uh, that, uh, uh, that really uh, it's in our head and uh, it's a little bit different perception of the subject itself uh, and uh, and for me like, as, as, uh, as um, to adapt the play we're working together with other uh, playwright she's the main playwright uh, veronica murek but uh, when you're working on, on it uh, you just uh, that's a little bit uh, uh, absurd for us, for me at least, because uh, at the beginning we did this performance like a little uh, preview or short, shortcut, or we, we just work with the students in the uh, theater academy and we, with this team, we, without the actors, but with students, we, we did this performance like very quickly sketch. And uh, Anya, uh, ideas was that, uh, and of course it's coming from our main idea, but that, Everybody, I mean, in the, in the, especially in the audience, is in the uh, mm, mm, anti-virus suites. So all the audience was in the black, or on the white, sorry. And we put a lot of smoke. So uh, we start the Tempest from like from the nightmare or dream and the way uh, how it finished this performance. And now, and of course the idea for this, the Tempest in Warsaw, it was like uh, that we, that was one of the main subjects that we locked down. And when the lockdown came, uh, so it suddenly it doesn't work, you know, suddenly it's so, so, so obvious. So that, that's our, uh, that's our challenge. And, uh, and of course this moment when we uh, uh, working in a different way by Zoom, uh, it's, as, as Piotr say, I don't know how, but the time is like 
spreading around and I'm much more involved in thinking and I'm much more deep in the process. But it doesn't mean that it's something we're building very fast up. It's more going deep and deep and my head as well is like uh, heavy and somehow disconnected from the body. So that, that is somehow this uh, situation, but uh, for sure we're thinking more and we having more time to uh, put the right question and to have the much more deeper uh, answers. So, and it is as well the very strange thing is somehow we have lack of time as some, somehow we don't know where we'll be opening. So it's very difficult to schedule uh, uh, ourselves. So that it as well gives this feeling of uh, being in the zone without the time. Mm -hmm. So, and that the, the zone without the time, that's for me, it's like uh, um, without the time and somehow without the space inside as well. Because everything is somehow in my head and in online and and for me, yes, we see everybody, but I have the, personally, <laughs> I have the problem that all the time I see myself, and that is very problematic for me, because uh, in the real time, in the, in the real time, I don't see myself. It's like, like in dream, I can't see myself in the dream. Now, the situation is more real for me, more heavy, more material, because I see myself, I see everything, Everything what I say is very important. I can't, I, I have to follow the orders. Like, uh, you know, it's like certain orders. Each word is important because it's like something we, we give the, our message to each other. It's not a normal situation to being around it. We give our message. That's, 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 the, that's the more or less like the Prospero is saying uh, the sleep. Sleep, you don't have the choice. So that is something like very um, strange with this play to doing uh, Tempest in the lockdown. It's very, very, as well, uh, significant as well. I, I understand that there's some challenge from, from outside and as well to challenge the situation of lockdown for us. And uh, yeah, it's uh, everything as, as usual in Shakespeare, everything is in it. So <laughs> depending how you read it <laughs> and how you understand it. I think it's really fascinating what you say about um, not going for obvious solutions because it seems that this place is, is maybe too perfect for this situation. We talk about isolation, being in a place with very bended conceptions of time and space, you know, the sense of unreal that Agnieszka mentioned um, and, and Tomek talked about and, and Anya kind of also you know, discussed this idea of you know, how it changes our ego, how we perceive ourselves. And then the sense of, of illusion and, and the magic and the magic of technology that we're experiencing and everything can just disappear, you know, somebody can just bomb us at any moment, we just all go into the air. Um, so I think it is, it is a big challenge, right? How not to make it too obvious. So I wonder how you work about this. And, and I also wonder, you know, like Tomek and Agnieszka and Tomek, like what are your observations as actors and your um, experiences with, with it? Um, particularly, like, what is it like to be a Prospero who's, who is really bound in a, in a particular space and time. Yes, it's like I said before, for me, mm, most interesting thing is that, that really I'm like that. So all my world, all my life is all about me is in my head. And really, um, like I said before, I, I, it's difficult to see myself like in like because I see myself like a bit strange person uh, all the time, like um, unreal person because I'm here. Why I'm here? I'm here. Who is more real? Uh, so and uh, I'm not sure if you are real too. Maybe maybe it's a game only. So this is very interesting uh, aspect for me, and and I like my flat very much. But but after such a long time, uh, all uh, things I have uh, at home is like uh, like props. Like I feel like uh, like um, you know that's that's all uh, props I have. <laughs> so it's it's very very interesting feeling to recognize um, all 
again re recognize again and what i said like uh, like uh, being in a tube like being in a rocket between the jar and the oxygen tent this impression was for me very interesting and fascinating because at the beginning i felt really like a mouse in the in the jar twisted in but through my bike like a tube like a rocket i suddenly after 40 minutes i uh, i i i i was in a beautiful amazing oxygen tent real and there i felt real again and i i could uh, uh, touch real trees or it was a dream because i started to to dreaming so intense and so sharp so it's um, it's funny. It's funny and very interesting thing to me as uh, Prospero to to deal with it and to face uh, this situation. So, yeah, I consider it, and I like it to consider it. Tomek, do you do you want to share any insights from your side about your experience with um, with understanding your character? Um, understanding your character. How does it change your your um, not just the way of working, but also your understanding of the character, of the world of the play. I must say that uh, there is not a lot of uh, changing my thoughts about my character. It's more that I can't really try anything. So I can't uh, separate bad things from good things. And uh, I... I'm thinking how it will be because all these things are staying inside me, you know, and I will have a lot of them. So when we will meet in a real situation, what it will be? Because I've got a lot of things which are not uh, spróbowane, przeprobowane. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Tried out. Rehearsal. You yeah, mean? yeah. Uh, they are not, you know, like, in a, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't try to, to, to show them, really. So I don't know really what is it, what is is what it is, yeah. So a lot of a lot of stuff here. So we will see if it explodes or if it will take me to you know crazy a bit situation. But uh, it, it's nice somehow. It's nice that I'm not forced forced to um, every rehearsal. Uh, to show myself that I'm doing something, you know, like a bit like laying on the ocean, thinking and waiting for the time when, when it can go out. Yeah, so we'll see mm -hmm. what it will be. And, um, and, and Piotr, Anya, do you have any, any sort of changes in your practice and, and the way you're, um, you're working Anya, on costumes, Piotr on music, um, in terms of how the lockdown has affected your um, understanding of the play and its dramaturgy? Uh, well, yeah, of course it has affected it. I, I mean, I think that we've all changed during the lockdown and uh, I think we've all come to different conclusions or something has come up, come up and we see ourselves differently a little, or uh, we recognize some things. And the same is with the play. I think we started out, like Gregor said, we did this uh, performance half a year ago, or a little more even, uh, in Krakow in, with the students. And uh, there we were sure what the Tempest was. And uh, we thought it was, it were great. Uh, we're gonna continue this in Warsaw and uh, we even laughed when the pandemic started that we should call the school to give out those uh, suits because they bought so many of them <laughs> uh, to the people that needed them because they have so many. But yeah, I mean, you, you think of it, you know, like we asked, uh, we asked the audience then to put the suits on and people really didn't want to put them on. People were like, mm, you know, I don't want to have the suit on. It's hot when it and and uh, half a year later, you think, you know, uh, all the doctors are wearing them and uh, plus the masks and everything and all this uh, things on the, on the feet and on the, and the gloves. And 
you feel um, shit, you know, this was this, this was just two hours and now they're, they're doing it the whole day. So of course it has to change. Everything has to change. And, uh, and uh, I think uh, the world will change. So, I mean, it would be, it would be sad if we didn't change uh, a perspective before uh, the perspective we had before uh, with the, with the situation that is happening now. But um, I'm sure uh, I'm maybe no. I'm, I hope it will change for the better. I mean, I I, I hope uh, I hope uh, humanity will realize what what has happened, and I hope uh, this will also give give us as artists a different perspective. And uh, for me, as a costume designer. I, as I said, I've never worked this way before. I've never been far from the actors. And uh, and uh, for, for me, it's impossible to sit with them now for hours just listening on Zoom when they're talking. Because uh, when you're there at the rehearsal and you feel the emotions and you can sometimes say something or you want to say something, but now just listening to what they're saying on, on, the, on the computer, for me, it's impossible. Like I would just, you know, uh, kill myself <laughs> after a couple of days of listening to this, but uh, but um, I think we're gaining trust, and I think uh, as artists we're all developing, and uh, we're gaining the trust that we know that, and because we all know each other, we've worked with each other before, and our whole team of all the actors, I think mostly. I think we know what we're capable of, so uh, we know that uh, we're manage this because uh, this is what we have to do, and we'll manage it the, the best we can. We'll manage it the, be the best we can in August to produce in these, in in this environment, in this in, in this occasion, what uh, what can happen, but. Uh, my daughter even asked me, how can you work as a costume designer now in COVID? And I said, I can't, in a way. I can have thoughts. I can have uh, visions, but I cannot uh, be, I, my job is, you know, with another human body. So uh, I, I cannot uh, be in this body. I, work, I look how the actors are moving on the stage, what they're doing, how they're reacting. I cannot do this at all. So uh, the only thing I can do is, I know Agnieszka, I know Tomek, I know all the actors, I know what kind of people they are. I know what they represent, what their values are. I can imagine what they're going through. And uh, I, this is the way I can develop their, uh, each of their characters now. For the way, I think, I think I would, it would be impossible for me with people I don't know. But with people I do know and uh, with people I trust, I can go and uh, use my imagination of what is happening to them. Yeah, in a sense, um, you're lucky to be working in Poland with an ensemble system and a strong institutional history. Um, I think many artists working in the UK who are coming together for different projects um, and then they don't have an opportunity to work long term are not having the same kind of trust as you've mentioned and the same kind of history of working and institutional structures to, to underpin their work. Um, Piotr, did you want to add anything about, you know, the kind of, I don't know, th th did your concept about the music you're creating change? Are the new tones, is it, is it kind of more d depressing now or? <laughs> no, it was always depressive, <laughs> but making music, because it's all about like being alone, basically. So you just, Mm, so like from the beginning I thought it will not affect you know the, the, the way I work because like we, we discuss like I go for the rehearsal we have some idea then I come back home to, to my studio and I just work it out and I thought like it's 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 gonna be the same but it's not really um, I think like like what I've noticed is like a question more more like a direction and I change a lot I don't know if it's the reason that we do this weekly kind of a meeting. So like, I love some idea, just just beginning of the week and end of the week, I, I, I think it's it's a bullshit and I need to change it totally. So um, yeah, I don't know, like uh, also when I think like we are, we are um, 
th there might be different scenario like uh I, 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 we don't know how it's gonna be like with the with the premiere and performance. So um, it comes to me like uh, if we will think about doing the live like online premiere or anything like that. I mean, uh, I need to convince myself I really like this. Like I'm, like I'm. I think like I my problem is like I don't like uh, online uh, music performances, and I, I I know that it's been like quite popular recently and like um, uh, you can you can find amazing musicians doing 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 concerts online but I just don't feel it and I don't have anything from it so um, so I think I need to work on it also like how to how to enjoy like their this kind of rehearsal more and also the output like if we're gonna do it online it's gonna be like that so um, yeah lots of questions um, you yeah. know I think the pandemic will make a big contribution to the performance, and uh, we will see it uh, when we get uh, when we get on stage. Uh, and I imagine a big explosion of emotion, of uh, improvisation, uh, and uh, also from my perspective, uh, by the Rehefa, by the Sumra we uh, have the ability to re record. So I imagine that for some time, uh, we will show this recording and draw inspiration from them. And Kasia, what, what has it been like for you? You know, what's your experience working on this in, in these very different circumstances? Uh, at the, this stage, I uh, only coordinate the, um, uh, our team. So it's so easy because uh, each, <laughs> each of us uh, has have uh, less uh, activities. So everyone is uh, is ready for rehearsals, and um, I love it. <laughs> wow. um, and so, just kind of last thing we were curious about, um, and this is actually something that Piotr very helpfully mentioned, is. What if, what if you actually, I don't want to be super pessimistic here, but what if it has to take place online? Oh, maybe I shouldn't say it. I don't know if I'm... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking of it. This was something, yeah. It'll be crazy ride. Sorry it for crazy that. ride for everyone. <laughs> I'm excited, you know, when I think that it can happen on online, live, live performance. Somehow I'm excited because it's like a new area, you know, let's try it. Why not, Piotrek? <laughs> no, no, yes. I mean, like, yeah, may, may, yeah. I mean, definitely from my experience, theater works better than music performances. I don't know why. Maybe it's like um, much more there than just the music. I don't know. Like um, a mixture of many different, like uh, performing, acting, visuals, music. It's more stimulative and I, I find it more interesting than just music performances. So, yeah, maybe it's going to be fine. I don't know. Yeah, Piotr, Piotr is well known in our team that is very pessimistic, but very specific way. You know, he's smiling and he's saying that he's pessimistic. You never know what is behind. And it's funny as well, his pessimism. But I have to admit that, uh, which impact me very much nowadays, especially, that uh, month, uh, uh, even more, 40 days before we locked down, we we went for uh, get to uh, invite me for the ping pong and we play ping pong. All the time the ping pong was saying about the lockdown and about what's going on in China, and mm -hmm. he was very specific about it. What's going on? And and I said, Piotr, what? Why are you talking about it? We just would like to relax. And he said, You know, all the time each day I'm reading about it. It could happen to us. And for me, it was so abstract mm -hmm. what he's saying. So, you know, the, this lack of uh, pessim pessimism. As, uh, as well as something, something which can wear us and uh, build our perspective. Yeah, and that be the feeling, uh, feeling the unknown. For me, this is it's it's interesting and and uh, somehow uncomfortable too, but still interesting. Uncomfortable but interesting. Uh, the the when the unknown really so how long uh it will be the situation and when 
will be the possibility to to go there this theater ritual through without fear so yeah I think we're also, we've always been uh, uh, experimental, so I think uh, it's an, it will be an experiment. We'll see what happens and we see how it goes. And, um, I, th I, I think you, what's great about it is also, I, we, we didn't mention this, but this was something for me amazing, that for the first time, we've always been a team uh, that's um, talked a lot about what, what is happening and what each one is each one of us is doing, but never had we had meetings, like Gregor said before, once every week. And, um, and like for the first time, really, I know what Piotr is doing. Like I know what a composer does. Like I really feel it in my heart that I know, uh, I, I listen to his music because he sends it to me. And, uh, and uh, I, uh, I really like, uh, I'm in touch with it, uh, with Sasha, the, the Sasha, the light designer for the first time. Like I know he's talking about specific lamps and everything. And I sit there for two hours and I listen to it. And it gives me also a different perspective of uh, my line of work. And I think um, this is great for us. This is about the ego also, but this is also uh, like, we are a team and we've always been a team. We like each other. We really care for each other also as friends. But now we also like, we're kind of engineers that uh, all of us are engineers and we're learning, you know, one is uh, teaching somebody is, uh, you know, teaching, we're teaching each other in a way our particular field and we're interested in it. We really want to be interested in it because we have the time. So uh, I think this is, uh, this is a great thing that is happening also in this period. And I think uh, the interesting and, and funny and uh, tricky thing is that every one of us uh, puts the puzzles together uh, and builds you know, his own picture, <laughs> you know, in the head again. How does this collaborative, this like puzzle uh, process, how does that translate into adapting the text? Because Grzegorz, you are preparing together with Veronika Murek a new adaptation. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's effect is like it's like with our heads. We, we I would say, we, we produce. I even say. A lot of scenes, and now in the now we are in the process of cutting, and be more specific. And that's that's uh, that's the I would say lockdown effect. Somehow we have too much time for thinking, and uh, no no possibility to express. As Tomek said, we have the same situation as I have the same situation like Tomek as a director. I can't check it. Uh, you know, when when we start to reading, I, I, I that's the radio. It's a, it's the radio piece, and uh, it's nothing about what we're talking. Mm -hmm. uh, especially, you know, it's like our 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 theater is much more dynamic co compared to the English theater, and much more experimental. I mean, experimental and involve body and emotions and interactions and improvisations. Mm -hmm. So it's like. You know, we just in this start box, and we feeding ourselves more and more and more. <laughs> and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, it's uh, what will happen with Tomek who play Caliban, and uh, how he express it. But as well, I'm now wonder about, uh, you know, Piotr or, uh, or Anya, or Agnieszka, uh, what they bring on it. You know, how they open, how they express, how they uh, um, put the energy in the in it. Mm. No, it's like, uh, it is interesting process for sure. It is, and we can learn and learn a lot about ourselves and to learn about uh, um, us in this situation. So it's, it's a mirror situation. There's a couple mirrors in our play as well. Uh, so it's like mirror situation as well. So it's developing, but uh, in the same way, uh, something we, we lost. But the question is that uh, that we what we lost, uh, if we lost it, if it was, was worth it. So mm, yeah, there's a lot of challenge, and uh, 
I'm hope I, I I'm sure that in a couple of months uh, we'll be uh, look on this situation even even on this talk completely different so uh, a way as as a very very uh, uh, unique and uh, important uh, experience for us. So I don't know how much you want to reveal, but how different is this uh, new adaptation from the source? You know, it's very different to the verses like uh, is the first is the adaptation. The second is uh, uh, we telling about our contemporary times. And uh, yeah, it's, we can say that we, we don't do it Tempest by Shakespeare. That's for sure. We don't even make the adaptation of it. We just uh, uh, inspired by uh, by Shakespeare, and we using and we using the characters, we using the sentences, uh, we using the plot. But the way you know, after five uh, so how many four hundred years, uh, we using differently. You know, it's like all the our subject of the play that that's more uh, most important is uh, anthropocentric way of uh, nowadays. So it's like for us, for me, for me, Shakespeare is like uh, the the star of uh, Anthropocentrism in 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 theatre and in art, so uh, that that changed a lot. Uh, you know, somehow he brings the subject which now uh, seems which was very very important through the ages, very important and de very developing the, our civilization. But nowadays we have to question everything because in some moment of our history, humankind makes some very very. Um, important, uh, uh, not important, very destructive uh, steps and uh, thoughts that we as a human, we are the, uh, we have the rights and we, on, we are only one uh, leading person in, in the earth or in, uh, in the world even, that we say that is the, how we see, it. that is how we say. Everything which we don't know, we, we call it our unknown, which we don't like this reward, of course, because we know everything in the science. Or oh, it's the religion, so that is this uh, imaginary world, and somehow it's the artist. But you know, they 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 are always little bit. They sometimes have the intuition. Uh, uh, they totally different uh, uh, person to to uh, perceive the uh, reality. But now, we, after especially on, uh, in this lockdown and after lockdown, we on the big question really to change everything. Our to change our thinking, how we recognize the reality, and. What is the reality? Is the reality our world, the, the, our, our perspective, or the reality is the, the earth or the animal or the plant? We, even when we're talking about, in the, about the plants or animals, we're always thinking in our anthropocentric way. We don't think about plants, in fact. We're thinking about what we, uh, how we understand the plants. And we are only visitors on the earth. Only our time, it's also about the time, I think. It's about uh, our time as human beings on the earth. It's quite short time. The earth is very old and the, and the, the bees, for example, are here longer. <laughs> so this, is, this connection is it's also one of our topics here. We were wondering maybe if um, audience members had um, any questions. Um, may I ask a question? Yeah, I just was interested um, from the director's point of view um, about the reflective mirror. I noticed you said about always looking at oneself when you were working. And I, I've, I've also been doing some short sessions myself. And I, I wondered how you found that. And also for the actors as well, are you working um, with the interface as your fourth wall, or do you often, if you do a read through, are you working with it, looking at each other? Um, I just thought that was an interesting uh, perspective as well, because you've got this instantaneous feedback as an actor that you don't normally get, because normally if you're in the th uh, theatre space working, you can't see your reflection or, or your work, but when you're working in the interface, you get this instantaneous response. And I just wondered how you, how you th uh, found that. So there's two questions there, if I, if I may. We don't, we don't, Paul, we don't really play on, on the Zoom. We just talk with ourselves and we discuss and we reveal the ideas. Right. 
we don't we don't really play. We just as 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 we mentioned, we just to have twice maybe when we or one when we read uh, everything, and we don't like it because it sounds very um, not. It, it, there was the fake sound. That was the fake idea behind. Um, it's more it's it's more easy when we, we when we're working on the music or even in the costumes on the light or the video. It's more easy when we talk when we work on the text uh, because then we have more, uh, we exchange the materials and uh, and then we present it and then some somehow as as well I have the feeling in this area you are much more closer and much more involved than in the in the reality process because we have the more time and you are more prepared and. Uh, we can surprise each other, but in in the way of uh, acting in, in, in the front of the camera, mm -hmm. uh, we don't do it. Uh, okay. uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Welcome. So, um, so when when how are you rehearsing then in the space? So, you, if you, are you got another space you're rehearsing? How if you had to do if this was just the only way you could rehearse? I you yeah. in isolate. Yeah, we 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 can't go to the work now. Uh, we are locked down. We have the law in Poland, and we can't go. And we don't want to risk as well because. So if this was the only option, would you be happy to use it? Would you be happy to rehearse? Because I've been rehearsing with my students um, short acting pieces um, using this interface. So is that something you're not going to? You know, out or? Yeah, it's it, the, to be honest. Tomorrow it's Saturday. We have the rehearsal, and the whole team we together and we discuss because we have the possibility now. Days uh, after the uh, prime minister of Poland, he said that we are allowed to go to the work yesterday. Okay. So we will discuss if we uh, take risk and we meet uh, uh, in the rehearsal space. And of course, the whole theater, big spaces are empty and. Um, Everybody would like that we start to work, but the, there are so many questions uh, about how we uh, how we work with the mask and so and so on. It's like so many so many questions. So tomorrow, uh, yeah, we we this uh, we, we we discuss it uh, as many things in our team. We just discuss together and we take together the decision. Or we go on stage, or we uh, stay on the Zoom. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Beyond this uh, premiere of, of The Tempest, um, what are your long-term plans? Um, if you could just tell us, I mean, I know we're in huge uncertainty at the moment, but um, what, what are you planning for, for the future? Are you asking me? I don't, perhaps Never. you or you know anybody you know I mean what, what are your plans as a team what are the other shows you're thinking of doing yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so difficult to plan it's, hard it's to difficult <laughs> um, but are you thinking of any any shows beyond the tempest already uh. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, to be honest, uh, I, I'm working on the new, new, not working, I'm not working, but I, I start to think about the um, new performance, uh, which bring me the lockdown. I mean, uh, Lamb by Solaris, that is the subject which I uh, start to think, not working really. And that is very close to me after this, what happened. Mm, but to there's many many plans change it uh, because of lockdown it's obvious for everybody uh, and it's quite difficult to to make the plans uh, just more than one year for me it's uh, uh, very very difficult i don't i don't i don't care now, now about it at all so much it's like uh, something which uh, could happen but it's not necessary that, that is as well another, another things which came to me. It's not so much things is necessary in our life. Mm, yeah, maybe like that. Any other thoughts? So we can maybe finish. Um, For actors, it's difficult to, to make plans because uh, you know, it's um, oh, so special situation that really uh, we, can, we cannot work. 
uh, all uh, film production are stopped, theater has a uh, break, uh, so we can meet only through Zoom. Uh, and it's uh, and it's very uncomfortable situation because uh, because um, we can actually uh, make plans. So we 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 are waiting uh, when when the very slowly it will be possible again. So and I, I cross my fingers for for one my my movie project which i i hope will happen because everything goes right but but it's really really difficult to make plans now so yeah well we're really looking forward to your tempest and um we hope to see it if not live which would be great then perhaps online um, and we want to thank you so much for joining us, for your wonderful presence um, in this digital medium, for your um, responses. And we want to just, you know, thank Kasia uh, for co-chairing with me and for inviting me. And uh, I can see Magda here from uh, the Theatre Times as well. And hello, Bryce. Hello, Paul. And uh, thank you all for joining us um, on Facebook. We really appreciate it and we hope we, you've enjoyed this uh, panel, this conversation. And then you will be able to see The Tempest um, live or if not online um, in the near future. And stay safe. You too. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.